beekeeping. Let us now learn about an economically important insect which plays a vital role in the life of man. Everybody must have tasted the sweet honey. Where does this honey come from? Yes, you guessed it right. It comes from the honeybees. Honeybees are best known for their two important products. One is honey and the other is beeswax. Honey is a universally accepted food having many medicinal benefits. It is an important ingredient of some Ayurvedic preparations. It is therefore considered as a versatile food. You must have seen honeybees buzzing around the beehives. Bees construct their hives by secreting a waxy substance from their wax glands. This wax is used to prepare candles, cosmetics, creams, ointments, paints, polishes, etc. The process of rearing and maintaining honeybee colonies and their hives for various products like honey, beeswax, propolis, pollen, royal jelly, etc. is called as apiculture. The place where the bees are reared is called an apiary. It has been an age-old cottage industry in India, but in recent years, large-scale apiculture is done at commercial level. In India, four species of honeybees are found. Of these, three are indigenous species, while one is an exotic or foreign species. The indigenous species are Apis dorsata, also called the rock bee or giant bee. The size of this bee is very large. It is very ferocious and generally found in the wild as it is very hard to tame it. Apis indica, also called the Indian Oriental bee. This bee is very gentle. It can be domesticated easily, though it may occur in the wild. Apis floria, also called the little bee. The size of this species is very small and it is also very docile. It is, however, a low-yielding species and is thus considered uneconomical for apiculture. An exotic foreign species of honey bee has also been introduced in India to increase the production of honey. This species is Apis mellifera, also called the Italian or European bee. This species is very easy to control and yields good quality and quantity of honey. Therefore, apiculturists prefer this exotic species of honey bee over the indigenous species for commercial production of honey. Let us now take a look at the composition of honey. Honey contains 17 to 25 percent water, 70 to 80 percent sugars, 4.2 percent minerals and vitamins B1, B6, C and D and ash 1 percent. Sugars include lavulose that is L-fructose 41 percent, glucose 35 percent, sucrose 1.9 percent and dextrin 1.5%. It is a food of high nutritive and medicinal value. It is a laxative, blood purifier and expectorant. Honey bees are often attacked by natural predators like wasps, wax moths, mites, black ants and king crow. Some diseases are also prevalent among the honey bees like Nosema disease caused by the protozoan Nosema apis and acrine disease caused by a parasitic mite, Acarapsis vudi. The bee colony, the caste system. Honey bees are social insects and live in colonies. There are three categories of bees in a beehive. The first category is queen bee. The queen bee is a fully developed functional female in the beehive. It has well-developed female reproductive system. She is largest in size, having small shriveled wings. She is capable of laying eggs at the rate of 800 to 1500 per day and may live for about 3 to 4 years. Basically, she is capable of laying two types of eggs. Fertilized eggs that produce sterile female worker and a fertile new queen. Unfertilized eggs which produce fertile males called drones. The second category consists of the worker bees. Worker bees are sterile females. On an average, there will be 20,000 to 30,000 worker bees in a beehive. 
These are smaller bees having strong wings for flying. These worker bees have a small life span of about 35 days. They possess well-developed mouth parts for collecting nectar and their abdomen bears the sting and wax glands. Worker bees perform several duties of the colony like cleaning the hive, feeding the larvae and queen bee guarding the entrance of hive and most important collecting the food that is, nectar and pollen from flowers. The third caste consists of the drones. Drones are fertile male bees. They mate with the queen bee. Their number in a hive is very few. It's around 60 to 70. They lack sting and wax glands. Drones can live up to about 60 days. There is one common function done by both drone bees and workers. They can sense the temperature variation in the hive. If the temperature in hive becomes high, they remove heat by moving air with their wings. If the temperature of the hive becomes less, they start shivering to generate heat.